What is the universe expanding into? Have you ever stopped to think that absolutely everything you know, from the atoms in your body to the largest galaxies, is moving apart at unimaginable speeds? It's unsettling, isn't it? The entire universe is expanding, but what exactly is it expanding into? Modern science faces a paradox that few are willing to admit. If everything is expanding, there must be something beyond the universe. This is what the world's most respected physicists call the bulk, a concept that challenges our very understanding of reality. What I'm about to reveal goes against what you learned in school. While they taught us that we live in three dimensions, theoretical physicists have spent decades working with models that suggest 10, 11, or even 26 dimensions. And no, this is not science fiction. It's the cutting edge of modern physics. In just 15 minutes, you will grasp concepts that took scientists like Einstein, Hawking, and Witten decades to develop. I will translate complex mathematics into examples anyone can understand, revealing how our universe may be just a membrane floating in a dimensional ocean that our senses cannot perceive. Get ready to question everything you think you know about the cosmos. This is not just another boring astronomy lesson. It's an invitation to see beyond the very boundaries of the universe itself. The parallel lines and non-Euclidean geometry, a new perspective on the universe. For over 2,000 years, we believed that parallel lines would never meet, no matter how far they were extended. It seems obvious, right? However, in the 19th century, bold mathematicians like Riemann and Lobachevsky challenged this idea, creating what we now know as non-Euclidean geometry. They discovered that on curved surfaces, like a sphere, what once seemed impossible could actually happen. Parallel lines could indeed meet. Imagine drawing two parallel lines starting from the equator toward the North Pole. Eventually, they would intersect. And this is not just an abstract mathematical exercise. It is a foundation of our modern understanding of the universe. Einstein relied on these mathematical tools to formulate his general theory of relativity explaining how gravity can bend the very fabric of space-time. Non-Euclidean geometry completely transformed our view of the galaxy and cosmic structure. Without it, we would never understand phenomena such as black holes, gravitational waves, or the expansion of the universe. It's fascinating how questioning an ancient mathematical postulate turned out to be fundamental to all of modern cosmology. Science advances in exactly this way by challenging what seems obvious. The most incredible part is that these mathematical theories were developed decades before we had any observational evidence that the universe could be curved. It was as if mathematicians had prepared the perfect tools that physicists would need in the future. This leads us to an intriguing question. What have our observations of the cosmos revealed about its true structure? The expansion of the universe, a revolutionary discovery, one of the most groundbreaking moments in the history of science occurred in 1929 when Edwin Hubble pointed his telescope at distant galaxies and made a shocking discovery. Almost all of them were moving away from us. And not only that, the farther away a galaxy was, the faster it was receding. This phenomenon became known as Hubble's Law and turned our understanding of the universe upside down. It's like throwing a handful of raisins into a loaf of bread before baking it. As the bread rises, all the raisins move away from each other. Not because any particular raisin is special, but because the very space between them is expanding. Similarly, the entire universe is expanding, carrying galaxies like our Milky Way along on its cosmic journey. This discovery was so profound that even Einstein initially resisted it. He had introduced a cosmological constant into his equations precisely to prevent the universe from expanding or contracting as he believed in a static universe. When he learned of Hubble's observations, Einstein called his constant the greatest blunder of my life. This is how science progresses, through observations that challenge even our most brilliant theories. The expansion of the universe led to an inevitable question. If everything is moving apart, does that mean everything was closer together in the past? Following this logic backward, we arrive at a moment when all matter and energy would have been concentrated in a single point. This idea led to the development of an even more revolutionary theory about the origins of our universe. The Big Bang and cosmic inflation, the birth of everything. What if I told you that the entire universe, 
Every atom, every star, every galaxy was once compressed into a point smaller than the head of a pin. It sounds crazy, but that is precisely what the Big Bang Theory proposes. Around 13.8 billion years ago, everything that exists began from an infinitely dense and hot singularity, expanding to form the cosmos we know today. In the first moments after the Big Bang, we're talking about unimaginably tiny fractions a second. The universe underwent a period of ultra-rapid expansion known as cosmic inflation. Imagine the universe doubling in size repeatedly in intervals shorter than a blink of an eye. This inflationary phase explains why the universe appears so uniform on large scales, as if it had been stretched perfectly. The beauty of the Big Bang Theory lies in its predictions. It accurately predicted the abundance of light elements like hydrogen and helium in the universe. It also predicted the existence of a background radiation permeating all of space, an echo of that primordial event. When this radiation was detected in 1965 by Penseus and Wilson, it served as a powerful confirmation of a theory. A fascinating detail, the term Big Bang was actually coined sarcastically by Fred Hoyle, an astronomer who opposed the theory. He used the phrase during a radio broadcast to mock the idea, but the name stuck and today, scientists around the world use it seriously. Science often has these delightful moments of irony. But what did this initial explosion leave behind that we can still observe today? The cosmic microwave background, a fossil of the primitive universe. There's a fossil from the early universe that we can still see today. The cosmic microwave background, CMB. Think of it as the first light that was able to travel freely through space around 380,000 years after the Big Bang. Before that, the universe was so dense and hot that light was trapped like trying to see through a thick fog. When scientists precisely mapped this radiation using satellites like WMAP and Planck, they discovered something extraordinary. The universe appears to be geometrically flat. This means that, on cosmic scales, space follows the rules of traditional Euclidean geometry the same ones we learn in school. If you were to draw a giant triangle in space, the sum of its angles would be exactly 180 degrees. This flatness of a universe is one of the greatest mysteries in modern cosmology. For the universe to be so perfectly balanced, its density had to be incredibly fine-tuned. It's like trying to balance a pencil on its tip, any tiny deviation, and it would fall. How did the universe achieve this perfect balance? The theory of cosmic inflation offers an explanation, but there is still much to uncover. The most fascinating part is that tiny fluctuations in this radiation, extremely subtle temperature differences, serve as the seeds for formation of galaxies and galaxy clusters. These small ripples in the early fabric of the universe grew over billions of years, shaping the cosmic structures we see today. Everything that exists, including you, began as a tiny quantum fluctuation in these first moments of the cosmos. The curvature and topology of space, the shape of our universe. Have you ever wondered what the true shape of the universe is? This question might seem almost philosophical, but modern science allows us to investigate it with mathematical precision. While observations of the cosmic microwave background suggest that the universe is flat, this does not fully determine its topology, that is, its overall shape. A flat universe could be infinite, extending forever in all directions. But there's another intriguing possibility. It could be finite yet boundless, like a cosmic donut, what mathematicians call a torus. In this case, if you traveled in a straight line long enough through the universe, you would eventually return to your starting point. It would be like a video game where exiting the right side of the screen makes you reappear on the left. If we lived in a toroidal universe, we could theoretically see multiple versions of our own galaxy at different stages of development, creating a cosmic hall of mirrors effect. Astronomers have searched for repeating patterns in the sky that could indicate this topology, but so far, no definitive evidence has been found. The topology of the universe has profound implications for its ultimate fate. A closed universe could eventually collapse and on itself, the Big Crunch. While flat or open universe will continue expanding forever, possibly accelerating due to the mysterious dark energy. The latest observations favor this latter scenario, suggesting an ever-expanding, increasingly vast, and ultimately lonely future for our universe. The weakness of gravity in the bulk, hidden dimensions, 
Have you ever noticed how gravity seems strangely weak compared to the other fundamental forces? A simple refrigerator magnet can overpower the entire gravitational pull of the Earth just by lifting a paper clip. This weakness of gravity is one of the greatest mysteries in physics, and the answer may be hidden in extra dimensions beyond the three we perceive. Some theoretical physicists, working with models like string theory, propose a revolutionary explanation. Gravity appears weak because it is leaking into extra dimensions. While forces like electromagnetism are confined to our four-dimensional universe, three spatial dimensions plus time, gravity may be spreading into a larger space known as the bulk, a multidimensional realm, where our universe floats like a membrane. To understand this, imagine ants living on a sheet of paper. To them, only two dimensions exist. Now, imagine you interact with the ants by touching the paper with your finger. The ants would feel your touch, but wouldn't fully comprehend your three-dimensional nature. Only its two-dimensional shadow in their world. Similarly, we may only be perceiving the shadow of gravity within our universe. If this theory is correct, we could potentially detect these extra dimensions in high-energy experiments like those conducted at the Large Hadron Collider, LHC. It would be like opening a window into a completely new aspect of the universe, invisible to our senses. But this is not the only theory suggesting that our perception of reality might be incomplete. The holographic principle, reality or illusion, what if everything you consider real, this device in your hands, the air you breathe, the stars in the sky, were actually a three-dimensional projection of information stored on a two-dimensional surface. This extraordinary idea is known as a holographic principle and has gained traction among some of the most brilliant theoretical physicists of our time. The inspiration came from black holes. When physicists calculated the entropy, a measured disorder of a black hole, they discovered something surprising. All the information contained within its three-dimensional volume appeared to be encoded on its two-dimensional surface, the event horizon. Physicist Leonard Susskind realized that this principle might apply to the entire universe. To visualize this, think of a regular hologram, like the 3D images on credit cards. All the information needed to create the three-dimensional image is stored on the flat surface of the card. Similarly, our three-dimensional universe could be the manifestation of information encoded on a distant screen at the edge of the cosmos. If this sounds crazy, Consider that the holographic principle has already proven useful in solving complex theoretical problems. The ad slash CFT correspondence, developed by physicist Juan Mel de Sena, uses this approach to translate difficult quantum gravity problems into more manageable ones in quantum field theory. It's like solving a complicated 3D puzzle by working with its simplified 2D version. This leads us to a profound question. How many dimensions truly exist in the universe? string theory in higher dimensions beyond the visible when we think about the universe we typically imagine three spatial dimensions plus time but what if reality is far richer string theory a promising candidate for a theory of everything suggests that the universe may have between 10 and 26 dimensions most of these extra dimensions will be curled up at subatomic scales invisible to our current instruments in these theories Fundamental particles are not point-like, but rather tiny, vibrating filaments called strings. Just as different vibrations on a guitar string produce different notes, different vibration patterns of these cosmic strings would generate different particles, electrons, quarks, photons. This elegant framework could potentially unify all fundamental forces of nature. Even more fascinating, these models suggest that our four-dimensional universe could be expanding within a larger multidimensional space, the bulk. Imagine a bubble expanding inside an aquarium. The surface of the bubble represents our universe, growing within the three-dimensional volume of the water. Similarly, our universe could be expanding within higher dimensions that we cannot yet perceive. Some physicists like Lisa Randall and Raman Sundrum have proposed that other brain universes, membrane-like universes, could exist parallel to ours within bulk, perhaps separated by infinitesimally small distances in extra dimensions. Interactions between these brains could explain mysterious phenomena, including gravity and even the Big Bang itself. In fact, the very expansion of our universe might be the result of dynamics occurring within this larger multidimensional space. The Experimental Evidence and Challenges 
How can we move from elegant mathematical theories to concrete evidence about what lies beyond our observable universe? This is a trillion dollar question in modern physics, and scientists are developing increasingly ingenious experiments to find answers. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, located at the border of Switzerland and France, searches for signs of extra dimensions by colliding particles at speeds close to the speed of light. If gravity truly leaks into other dimensions, hypothetical particles called gravitons could momentarily escape into bulk during these collisions, leading to missing energy patterns that detectors might identify. So far, no conclusive evidence has been found, but the search continues. Another promising approach involves gravitational waves, first detected in 2015 by LIGO. These ripples in the fabric of space-time could carry signatures of exotic spatial geometries or interactions with other brains in the bulk. Future gravitational wave observatories, such as LISA, a space-based mission, will have even greater sensitivity to detect these subtle cosmic signals. The challenge is immense. We are trying to study phenomena occurring at energy scales billions of times higher than what we can produce in a lab or at distances as small as 10 to the power of negative 35 meters, the Planck scale. It's like trying to understand an entire ocean by studying a single drop of water. But history has shown that human persistence and creativity often overcome seemingly insurmountable obstacles. The universe still holds many secrets, but we continue to uncover them one step at a time. As we explore the limits of our knowledge about the expansion of the universe, we realize that we are just scratching the surface of a much greater cosmic mystery. The theories we discuss today, from extra dimensions to the holographic principle, show us that the universe is infinitely more complex and fascinating than we ever imagined. It's interesting to think that in our last session we explored black holes, those cosmic objects that distort space-time to the point where not even light can escape. Do you remember the largest black hole in the universe we discussed? Those cosmic giants are, in fact, natural laboratories where we can test many of the theories we've talked about today. When we study how matter behaves around a black hole, we are observing the very fabric of the universe being stretched to its extreme limits. What do you think would happen if we could observe these extreme cosmic phenomena in more detail? Will we find evidence of these extra dimensions? Could the topology of our universe be revealed by studying how light bends around supermassive objects? Or perhaps we could detect signs of other universes interacting with ours through gravitational waves. The journey of cosmic knowledge continues, and you are part of it. If you haven't yet watched our video on the largest black hole in the universe, I highly recommend you do. It perfectly complements the ideas we discuss today and deepens your understanding of how these fascinating objects challenge our perception of space and time. To continue expanding your personal universe of knowledge, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. That way, you'll be the first to know when we release new content exploring the mysteries of the cosmos. The universe is expanding, and so can your knowledge.